Hello, Gilla Sweet. It's Mr. Kreebeck, back with another episode of Crafting with Kreebeck. Today is Monday, May 11th, and today, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to do something creative with plastic spoons. Today, we're going to make bugs out of plastic spoons and put them on leaves. Let's take a look at what you're going to need. First, you're going to need some plastic spoons. You're going to need some paper. You're going to need paint, but if you don't have paint, that's okay. You don't need to. You just need some colors, like markers. If you do use paint, you have your paintbrush, pencil, and some other things to help you paint if you uh, do decide to paint are some toothpicks and a Q-tip. We're also going to need some scissors and some scotch tape. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my spoons and I'm going to color it with one of my markers. I'm going to use blue to start off with. Now the end, this end of the spoon is going to be my bug that's going to sit on a leaf. So I want to color this with my marker. So I'm going to go all the way around and I'm going to use the side of the marker and color the spoon. Now, you might be asking, Mr. Krivak, why don't you just use paint? Well, the paint that I have doesn't really stick to the plastic spoon so good. So that's why I decided to use markers instead but maybe your paint will work better than mine. Okay, so I've got my first one, blue. Now let's go ahead and do one. I'm gonna do an orange bug next. Same thing. I'm gonna use the side of the marker to color the spoon. I'm gonna do the edge first. And then you can see, just let the marker kinda of go back and forth on the spoon. Now I'm going to set those to the side and let them dry. Now the next step is to take your piece of paper, and I already labeled mine, bugs on a leaf, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw some leaves. Now the easiest way to draw a leaf for me is like this. There's one. Two, and I'll do one more. Three. Now, with my leaves, I'm going to put the middle part of the leaf, like just a line, and then off of that line, I'm going to do the different parts of the leaf that kind of look like this. I'll do the same thing over here. And one over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut a little slit in the paper for the plastic spoon to fit inside. And I want to put my bug right about here on my leaf. One here, one here, and one here. Now to do this, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to lift the paper up and I want to gently push my scissors through the paper, just like that. One there. I just want to put a little hole in my paper. Make sure to be careful. Two and three. Okay. Now, I already have some spoons that I already decorated and they've already dried and I've put them over here. So I'm gonna start with my ladybug spoon. I'm gonna take the ladybug spoon and I'm gonna put it inside where I put the little slit. I'm gonna push it all the way in there. Now, on the back of the paper, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use a piece of my tape 
to tape the spoon down or the handle of the spoon, I want to tape it to the back of the paper so it doesn't move around. And I'm going to use two pieces of tape just to make sure. So there's one bug. Let's take my blue bug and I'll put my blue bug over here. And again, I'm gonna tape on the back of the paper to make sure that it stays in place. One piece and two pieces. And let's see, how about I take my orange one next? Put my orange bug on this leaf, and push it through. So it's sitting on my leaf. And again, I'll flip it over and I'm gonna tape it down on the back. One and two. Okay, now I have my bugs inserted on my leaf, or my leaves. Now I noticed on this bug, some of my dots are a little bit faded. So that's okay, I can just take my marker and go ahead and I'm just gonna color those in a little bit darker so they're a little bit more visible. Now you can also, rather than using marker, if your paint works, you could use paint instead. Now you're probably noticing that I'm using a Sharpie or if you don't have a Sharpie, you can just use a regular black marker. Here's the eyes of my bug and I'm just gonna color them a little bit darker just so they stand out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now what I decided to do, well, you have two choices actually. If you don't have paint, you could just go ahead and use your markers to decorate your leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my green marker to trace the outside of my leaf. My bug moved a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm gonna draw the inside part of the leaf. And then down at the bottom. Then I could go ahead and color this in if I'd like. And what I like to do is sometimes even use the, the marker to outline the edge like I just did and then use crayons or color pencils to shade the inside. Or if you do have paint, you can go ahead and then paint the leaf of your bug. So let me go ahead and use some of my green paint to paint my le one leaf. I'm going to rinse my paint because the next leaf, I'm going to make a totally different color. I want to make the next leaf a yellow leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some yellow paint out. And again, I'm going to go to my next leaf. and paint it with my next color. And now this color yellow, as I'm painting this, I'm noticing that I can still see through the paper and see my lines that I drew. And that's okay because I'm actually gonna trace over those lines with a darker color.
Okay. Now, one last touch. Like I told you, with this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Sharpie to trace those lines on the inside of that leaf. Just so they stand out a little bit better. Actually, I'm gonna switch because the, probably you could, it'd be better, a little bit better if you let the paint dry, but we'll make it work. There we go. And now the outside part of the leaf. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, and then I'm gonna go over a little bit more to make it darker. So boys and girls, be, a, be as creative as you'd like. You can see on this bug, with the blue, I, put, I tried to put white dots. And again, all I did was use a Q-tip to make those white dots, white dots. So with my paint, I just dipped it in, and very gently, I dipped it on top of my bug. Okay. Boys and girls, I, I hope you had fun today learning how to do another craft with Mr. Krivak using some common things that you can find around your house or apartment. Have a great day.